Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mama's Time Out, where real moms come to talk. Once again, for new listeners, I'm Patty, owner of LittleBitesNews.com, GiftPartySuppliesAndMore.com, MamasTimeOut.com, and WAHBusinessDirectory.com, where we offer shopping, child development, parenting resources, and low-cost advertising, party supplies, gift ideas, and more, along with our social network and live support call-in show for moms. I'm a former elementary teacher turned stay-at-home, work-at-home mom, and mom of two boys. I hope you enjoy the show today. Um, I'll be speaking with Sandra Kay. She's a children's advocate and author promoting a THC awareness campaign. So learn how you can help children and families globally affected by congenital heart disease. The call-in number is 646-595-4516, or you can join our live chat. Um, we will. I will be opening up the line to talk um, towards the end of the show. I will be introducing our guest speaker shortly. So if you decide to call in today, again, the number is 646-595-4516. And once again, this is Mama's Time Out, a live support call-in show for moms of all ages and all stages, featuring guest speakers, experts, and interviews. So feel free to join us if you can't join us live. Come back and listen to us later in our archive. Let's see here. Um, I believe that was all I was going to say at this time, and then I'll introduce our guest speaker, and then um, hopefully we'll have time to share some resources with you um, and an announcement towards the end of the show. So let's see if she's here, and we'll go ahead and welcome her. Hello, Sandra. Yes, Patty. Hi, how are you? Hello from Germany. <laughs> yeah, hi from far away. <laughs> I know. I'm I really long distance. <laughs> with, yeah, I don't think I've spoken with anybody from Germany. I did speak with someone from Australia once. So. Oh, wow, okay. That's, that's far too. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of neat that I, that I get the opportunity to, to get to talk to you guys and, and right. so so far away with people. <laughs> right. I, I, you know, I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for for giving me the chance to talk about my my issue you know I'm promoting and that I really I appreciate that oh no problem well I really appreciate you being here and I think it's an important topic and I'm always looking for you know great guests and right great topic ideas to share to you know share mm-hmm. with everybody out there so you know, right. I think this is a really important topic that people need to know more about I know when I was pregnant with our last son I had a little we had a little scare because he was having a rapid heartbeat okay and when they told us that we were like oh no and I just started crying right away it just made me worry so so bad but they said it was kind of common in some young you know newborns to, or, right you know, it is mm-hmm. uh, utero and thankfully, he uh, it went away after he came out. So. Okay, but I was so it, worried. Right? Did they do another checkup after he was born, or? Yeah, well, they had me go in for regular monitoring um, towards the end of my pregnancy. Well, from then on, I should say. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember exactly what time in the pregnancy it was, but you know, it was scary, and so it was nice that we had that extra monitoring to make right. sure everything. Was Which going is not okay. usual, I might say. <laughs> Oh really? Well, oh. thankfully, yeah. Thankfully, my doctor. Well, I guess since I'm an older mom, <laughs> also I'm 38, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. It, it, it must be, yeah, because I, I've heard so many stories where um, the doctors didn't even really know about CHD, believe it or not. I yeah. mean, I had moms go in and ask for a specific ultrasound test just wow. for the heart. So I mean, I've. Ever since I started the petition, I've heard stories, and it really it, it curls up my toes. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, and that's, uh-huh. that's, that's why I'm really, really involved with the petition, because we need to get the word out. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, we need to create a buzz for, for the media to step in and, and teach the public, not just mothers, but like, like nurses. I mean, I've had people call me and tell me that they went to the doctor's office and asked about, like, brochures or posters for, for CHD, and the nurses didn't even know about CHD. I mean, that's I don't I don't wow. get it. 
you know? Yeah, that's crazy. Is that all in, is that in Germany where this, this is that, That's on? in the States, because like my, my main focus is on the States. Uh, Germany is actually pretty good with CHD. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised to hear. I mean, I have heard of it, maybe because I guess I try to keep more educated about mm-hmm. it, also, you know, mm-hmm. and since, since our son did have that, we had that little scare, and then I do have a niece that I can't, I don't know if it was actually CHD, but she had to have open heart surgery when she was um, younger because she had a hole in her heart. Yeah, that that's a form of CHD because there's 35 different types, and that's one of the, one of the types of CHD. So that is one of the types. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, so I mean, it can be scary if it's, I guess it can run in families maybe, I'm not sure. You know, like, they actually, they really don't know yet about the causes. I mean, they do say um, it has some genetic forms because most of the children with Down syndrome, they actually have a CHD too. Wow. Yeah, and they say, some say it's like also environmental. But I, I just read an article and it was really interesting because it said that mothers with um, UTIs, they mm-hmm. have a chance of having a baby with, with CHD. If you get UTIs a lot? Yes, or if they get the, the, the measles and, you know, that might be a, a factor to it. But, like, overall they still don't know what causes it. Uh-huh. Wow. So it, it is very puzzling, but, like, what's really, really puzzling to me is that hardly anybody knows about it, you know? Yeah. And it's, yeah. and I, I've, I've just wrote a bullet on my MySpace page and because I was so upset because that once again shows how, how, like how little people know about CHD is, um, when I went to my petition page mm-hmm. and I have like, I have 5,000 signatures and I need like 50,000. That's my goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's, there's this new petition, petitioner that says, um, save Polaroid film. <laughs> and it, it got started in February 2008 and it already has like over 10,000 signatures. Save Polaroid. Yes, and you know, I mean, okay, maybe, I mean, yay, yay for Polaroid films and don't, you know, don't have, have them die. <laughs> but come yeah. on, you know. That yeah. just, just, I mean, that, that just completely puzzled me. Well, <laughs> maybe Polaroid is advertising and, you know, they have a high advertising budget. Maybe they're behind it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, but it's like 10,000 signatures in three weeks. That's, <laughs> wow. I'm like, okay, so, you know, that even, that makes me, try even harder, you know. Yeah, right. That's good motivation. So I wanted to ask you a few questions. Um, I think you kind of talked a little bit about it, but how did you get involved in this campaign? Was somebody you knew or a family member? Well, you know, actually, it it started out a year ago when I I got on MySpace because of my book, of my Uh Angelina book. Uh And um, it's the first one of, of, I'm, I'm, I'm planning like a series of it, so for the first book, I was looking for a donation project to donate to from uh-huh. the sale of the book. And this is how I met the CHD community. And I met um, a lovely friend of mine. Her name is Michelle, and she lost her baby daughter, Chloe, uh-huh. to CHD. And this is, I mean, basically for, for like a year, I've been like involved in reading up and studying it. And it just, you know, became more and more. I, I just got more and more involved in it. So... Uh-huh. Um, this, How this long have you been doing this? For a year. Oh, a year now. Yeah. Okay. And I did know about CHD. No, no, no. I, I did know about CHD, but not like really like the statistics and facts, you know, which are so mind blowing. And uh-huh. talking so to so many parents and you know hearing all their different stories and it's really it's it's, it's so touching, and uh-huh. they do need help, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's sad. I mean, anytime your child is diagnosed with something like, you know, severe that requires surgery. I mean, our son had to have surgery for uh, a uh, hernia, Mm -hmm. and and that was scary. And, you know, I have a younger sister who was born with a birth defect, um, Mm -hmm. so she had to go through numerous surgeries, you know, growing up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, any time your child or somebody you know that's close has something, you know, that they're born with, it's, you know, touching and it makes you want to right. react and do something to try to right. help spread awareness. So, right. Yeah, I mean, this is really great that you're doing this. Thank you. I, I try. You know, I've, I've, been a children's, <laughs> I've been a children's advocate for about 12 years because I'm, uh, I'm a child psychologist. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, so okay. I work with, with different type of illnesses in children, but this is just something that really, really hit me because there's, there's really nothing going on. I was just in New York and I saw this great commercial on TV about um, St. Jude, 
Uh-huh. You know, and it's like, and I, uh, I was thinking, we we need something like this, like a commercial out on TV to make people aware. You know, right, right. Just, yeah, I mean, yeah, any support that you can get. I mean, exactly. That's what you need is to just keep spreading the word, and eventually it's going to get out there and spread. You know, yeah. like wildfire. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I yeah, hope so. <laughs> I, I think you're, I think you're on the right path. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, and, and how many children are affected by this defect per year? Well, you know, it's one in every 85 babies that are affected yeah. now with CHD. And last year when I started to get involved with, with the CHD issue, it was one in every 125 babies. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the the rate is going up. So it's going up, and yeah. they don't really know why that is either. It no, no. Is it would be a, no. a to... Don't know. Yeah. Food or overeating or they, any of that. <laughs> they do not know, you know. Yeah. But in my opinion, there's also just not enough research being done towards mm-hmm. CHD. You know, that's basic because there's hardly any funding mm-hmm. for for CHD, especially. I think there's a there's like one dollar going to the American Heart Association. From that mm-hmm. dollar, um, like one penny is going towards congenital heart defects, and that's really not enough. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean the whole. The whole issue is so, it's so mind blowing, Patty. You know, it's so, yeah. like, it's just I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, yeah. it's really mind blowing, and the rates yeah. are up, and like four thousand of those babies will not live to see their first birthday. You know, four thousand. Four thousand. A year. Yes. Wow. Yeah, and overall, like within a year, ninety-one thousand lives are gonna be lost. Not just babies, but, you know, children who have their heart surgeries and, you know. Uh-huh. So every year, you know, at least 4,000 are, are uh, mm. born with it and die? Yes. Wow. Yeah. They will, they will, well, they are born with it and they will not see their, their first birthday, you know. Uh-huh. Only, like, those are, like, 4,000 who will not live to see their first mm. birthday. That's sad, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just, we Very. need to step up to, yeah, it is, and, you know, people think, people tend to look away and like, okay, if it doesn't affect my child, it doesn't affect me, mm-hmm. you know, and let's, let's just not get involved. But they should realize one in every 85 babies, chances are, it's going to, you know, you're going to be involved with it somehow, you know, whether it is, well, God forbid, you or a friend or, you know. Right. So we, somebody. Uh-huh. yeah. So, so we, we really need to step in and, you know, t- try to raise as much awareness as possible. Right, so that the research and the funding is there. Exactly. Right. And also, you know, like in the doctor's offices, you know, hang up posters. I mean, it is the number one cause or like the number one birth defect in the U.S. You know, hang up posters, have brochures, or like every mom who, every pregnant mom who goes to a checkup should just have like a, a heart checkup, you know. You go in and they can determine, oh, it's a boy, it's a girl, okay, let's just quickly listen to the heart, oh, it's fine. No, that's not enough. You know, mm-hmm. one in every 85 babies, you need to have a regular checkup for the heart. Uh-huh. And right. also, I think when they're giving birth to a baby, they should really have a, like an echocardiogram or an e, uh, EKG. That uh-huh. should just be normal, you know, and regular in every hospital. Uh-huh. Right. So well, I know they have some kind of monitor. I'm not quite sure what kind of monitor they use. You know? Yeah, but not. It's like you know, like for for like an echocardiogram, you have to have like a specific um, referral from a doctor. Mm-hmm. If he thinks there's there's some he heard something or there's something wrong, then you get that. You know, and I think you should just have that regularly. Why not? You know. Right, right, and not necessarily because you're an older mom or exactly or all of them. I had this with you. <laughs> exactly, I had this 23 year old mom, first baby, and she wrote me on my page and she said, well, do you think um, I should ask my doctor about like a checkup? And I said, of course, you know, ask him. And then she wrote me back and she said she had to specifically ask him for this type of ultrasound. I think it's like an ultrasound type 2 or level 2, something like this she called it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you have to ask for it. And I think with so many people not knowing about it, how are you going to ask for it, you know? Right. So it is up to the doctor or the nurses to just, you know, make sure the mother's going to be checked thoroughly. Right. 
You know, I feel like I was pretty fortunate. I had I had a pretty good doctor, and mm-hmm. you know, she right away they sent me over to get monitored, and then I had a special ultrasound. It may be the one you're talking about. I'll, I'll have Perfect. to find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's hard to remember all that stuff going on when you're <laughs> you're worrying about your kid and you know yeah. worrying about what it's called and all that. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I, I do think in your cause that was because of your age. You know. Yeah, it was probably that. Yeah, yeah that's because it's not a regular checkup. Right. Also, right. you know, like, I mean, spread the word in, in schools, teachers, you know, school nurses, and just mm-hmm. there needs to be so much done. And, you know, right. there's so much being done for other childhood illnesses. I mean, God forbid, childhood cancer, all of this, this is just horrible, and no, no child should suffer that. But, like, CHD kills more babies than all cancer types of of childhood cancer combined. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, nothing is really being done. Wow, that's amazing. I never realized that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you always think cancer is the number one killer of, you know, kids and kids. I think heart disease disease actually is for adults, I know, but gosh, Mm -hmm. sounds like it is for children, too. Yes, yeah, congenital heart heart defects, just the babies, and it's really, really sad. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, any time, especially when it's children, because they're they're too young, you know, to mm-hmm. happen to them. And hopefully, we can find out what's causing it, and they can get the research and the funding to so, uh, find a cure. Yes. And so, what is your book that Angelina Don't Be Afraid of the Dark about? Is that a, about a CHD child or? No, that's actually just uh, like a regular children's book, uh-huh. and it's that's and. Just basically, you know, since I was working with children and I was looking for a donation project, I just decided to do a donations to the CHD community. Mm-hmm. But the the book itself really doesn't have to do anything with CHD. It's just a regular a kids book to help children get over their fear in the dark. It's like an, you know, with like activities in the book and oh okay yes, and a portion yeah. of the sales goes to CHD research. Wow, that sounds like a neat idea for a book. Yeah, it's a cute book, but it, like right now, currently it's being redrawn and um, redone, so it's not okay. it's not out for sale yet. It's gonna be out again in like I think three months. Oh, okay. Yeah, but so I do. Where, I am. Excuse me. Where will uh, people be able to get that on your website? They're gonna take that. It's gonna be on Amazon and Borders and all the main pages. Uh huh. You know. Great. But I will okay. be posting on on my page on my space. I will be posting when it's out. Okay. And where did you get that idea for the book, just from working with children? Working with children, yes, and, like, talking to them. And I realized, I mean, there are pretty, like, a lot of books out there on this topic, but I realized that, like, we need a book with activities. So, you know, children really get involved because involvement takes away their fear. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can read about it and it helps, but they're going to be involved with it and they're going to work with it, and that's going to help. Yeah. And Angelina, I'm a big, big angel fan, so, you know, Angelina was uh-huh. born. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really cute. You have a lot of creative ideas. Yes, definitely. Yeah. There are there. <laughs> Very inspiring. I I I hope to uh, find some inspiration from you. <laughs> so, I I would like to write a book myself someday. I actually did write a children's book, and I did it on a software program, and uh-huh. I think it was on an old hard drive that crashed, and I think oh. I may have lost it. But the oh. idea is kind of still there in my head. I just don't know if it will ever be as good as it was. <laughs> well, you know, you can always send it to me. I'll go over to help you with it. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. You know, I, I definitely. Some, some inspiration and support on that. And, you know, sometimes my brain just feels fuzzy from having two little ones running around all the time I that bet. it's hard to become creative anymore. <laughs> so I, I bet. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, well, maybe I have to put that on the back burner until they're a little older and maybe right. my creative juices will start coming back. Right. I don't know. <laughs> well, the thing so, is, you know, never for, n- never like force yourself because that, that that's always going to end up messy. <laughs> right, right. It just it has yeah. to flow. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, like, uh, when I was growing up, I really enjoyed writing and especially I would do poetry and just little short stories and stuff for kids. Mm-hmm. Lovely. I mean, this was one story that, you know, I thought was actually had some potential to maybe get printed someday, and then mm-hmm. I lost it. And I, I was going to have my uh, cousin illustrate it, and oh. cause he he draws really well. But now okay. I can't find the book. <laughs> so, well, but you know, you, I, you you still remember though how you know like yeah what it yeah, was about. I still remember the basics of it, and 
So right. hopefully I can get it all back in my head, or maybe it'll turn up. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, well, you know I have, maybe I maybe I printed it. I don't know. I'm hoping I have it printed somewhere. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> yeah. But the thing so, is, sometimes that's, that's one not even a bad learn, idea. Huh? <laughs> that's not even like a bad idea to like go in and 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 redo it because that's what I'm experiencing with my book now. It, I mean, it was a cute book before, but since we're redrawing it, I, I have time to add more things and little ideas. So actually, it is a blessing, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes to just be given a chance to start over with it. Right, right. So, But I, I'm here, Patty, if you need help. <laughs> you know how to get in touch with me. I appreciate it. Well, I'm glad I, I'm glad I, I don't exactly remember where I found your site online. Um, I'm just glad I came across it. And <laughs> okay. I have this opportunity now to talk to you and get to know you and. Same here. Yep. More, yeah. Same here. So, you, uh, you're an angel sent to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. So, uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, do you have any ev- events coming up for raising the CHC awareness? And, well, uh, you know, I created the, I don't know if you have seen it on the page, I created state state pages for CHD awareness. Uh-huh. They're called Angelina's uh, Warriors of CHD. Uh-huh. And I have representatives who each of them, they, they start doing little projects and I will post about them. But me mainly, there's nothing going on right now. We are uh-huh. planning um, a benefit show in uh-huh. the future. And um, also, just this, um, it's in my head. I haven't like thrown it out there yet. But I want to do. Uh, I want to create a brochure, brochure sticker or something to go into doctors' offices and posters. And that's going to be a main uh-huh. project for for me. You know, educate uh-huh. the people and have having inf- information material on in every doctor's office. Mm-hmm. And basically, uh-huh. also you know, try to reach the media. I'm, I'm currently, I'm, I'm looking for a celebrity spokesperson to get involved. Uh-huh. So, you know, stuff uh-huh. like this, many projects. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. That sounds like a great idea. and I mean, you definitely have great ideas, and I'm, I think you're going to definitely make a success of your efforts. I, I <laughs> hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I mean, Basically, though, you know, sometimes I write newspapers and magazines, and I, I tell them about this issue, and I never hear back from them. It's just sometimes I think that the, the media is, is looking f- for something else. They're, they're looking for... A friend of mine told me, she said there, she thinks that there's nothing really out there because the media always, they love survival stories and the drama and, you know, and yes, she came back and she's healed and they really do not want to get involved with something so life-threatening, you know? Uh-huh. And because there are hardly, hardly any survivors with CHD, this might be a reason uh-huh. why... Why yeah. everybody kind of like looking away, but I this is going to change. I would suggest I, Nancy Grace. I don't know if you get her over there. Yes, she, she's on CNN. If there's some way you can get connected with her. Yes, I heard about her, and the, she's the, like a big children's advocate with her show, and she features a lot of you know children's mm-hmm. issues and topics. Good so idea, like, Patty. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. A good idea. Thank you for that oh. one because I did. Yeah. I hear from her that she's a, a children's advocate. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, if there's some way, you know, I, you know, you can ask people to uh, contact her show, and I'm right. be willing to do that myself. And you just never know. I mean, even Oprah, you know. You just yes. Know. Oh, I'm I'm on Oprah. I'm, I'm trying to get her. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you know, Oprah, you that's that's know. big. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's gonna, t- you know, it could take time, but you know, persistence is what will probably pay off in the end. So yes. Right. You never know. Right. So how how can others um, become involved and help in your effort? Well, you know, basically, I think it is first of all educate yourself. You know, go go on Google and Google CHD. You're gonna find plenty of 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 of, of like web pages about CHD, and they're great. You know, and, uh-huh. and like like educate yourself, read up on it, and then I mean, get involved. Like I said, go to the doctor's offices and say, hey, have you heard about CHD? What is being done there? You know, and just advocate it, and also. um Get the media involved. Everybody out there, they can write to newspapers and, you know, mm-hmm. basically everything we're doing, the public can do. Right. You know? And, like, I mean, but but the first thing I, I would like to ask them is just to go to my petition page and sign, you know, for more media awareness. Right. That is the, That is the first step, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Right. And people can find that at, what is the address again? Hold up, um, that's a long one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in MySpace, which, you know, there's... Yes, it, it is on my MySpace page. Maybe I should give uh-huh. you that address? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, that's um, www.myspace.com. Uh-huh. 
slash Angelina Friends. Uh-huh. And that's it. A-N-G-E-L-I-N-A-S. F R I E N D S. Exactly. Okay. And there, okay. like up on the top, there's a petition banner, and you just click on it, and it takes you directly to the petition. Okay. And yes, I I also I believe I added that to uh, the uh, show posting on uh, the blog talk show today. Perfect. Thank so you. So people should be able to quickly find it there as well. Mhm. Mhm. There's a lot, I mean, there's really a lot people can do, you know, but basically spread the word, you know, doctor's offices, uh-huh. schools, uh-huh. Like, I mean, hospitals. And it always depends how much you're willing to, to do, you know, because, I mean, I understand people do have very limited time nowadays. Right. But, you know, uh-huh. just, I mean, just by signing, that would be that would be already perfect, you know. Uh-huh. Right. Right, even if it's just, you know, one office that they happen to go to with their own kids. Exactly. Know? Drop, yeah, drop just, yeah, if you're at the doctor's office, just, you know, just start, say, hey, do you know about CHD and why is there no awareness poster? Mm-hmm. And, you know, Patty, I bet that, like, probably 90% will get an answer like, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. CHD, yeah, I don't, I don't recall seeing any myself. No. I mean, I, I have this friend, it. She, had, this friend of mine, she has four, four children and she, she wrote a nice blog and she said in those 17 years of her having four children, she never saw anything about CHD, you know, in her mm-hmm. doctor's office. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's important. That's a good reason to start spreading the word and hopefully our listeners and future listeners will do that. Yes. And uh, did you have um, any offers or uh, resources that you wanted to share? About um, the CHD research? Yeah. Um, you know, there's uh, on the on the petition link uh-huh. where I write about CHD. I have a lot of um, links on the web uh-huh. for web pages, and this is basically like what I what I want to share with the public because those links are the best CHD infos. You know. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah, I have, I think I have a list of some of them, and I'll uh, try to mention a few here. There's okay. the clothes. How is it? Chloe Dyke Memorial dot com, and but there's also a better one connected to it. Well, not better one, but the main page is actually the Hope for Tiny Hearts dot com. Uh huh. Hope for Tiny Hearts dot com. Yes, okay. and this is my friend Michelle who lost her baby daughter Chloe. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Then this is where uh, my donations from the book sale goes to. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Donations from the book will go there, and and how much will your will your book be selling for? The book's gonna be nine ninety. Uh huh. And um, yeah, it's not gonna. It, every book of mine is gonna be nine ninety. It's not gonna raise or you know, like other books. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Sounds reasonable. Yes. And uh, and uh, people will be able to find that at Amazon in about. Three months? In about three months, yeah, because okay. like with the redrawing and then getting it published, because it's I'm publishing publishing it myself, uh-huh. and you know when it goes to print and yeah, it's gonna be probably like three months. Okay. Sounds but it good. will be announced on the web page also on the MySpace page when it's out. Okay. Okay, and then uh, there I guess there are actual some actual CHC organizations or or are these just regular heart organizations for children as well, or do they specifically help? Yes, all of them, all of the, well, well, I think 99% of the pages are listed are for congenital heart defects for CHD especially. So they are specifically for CHD Yes, for the, for, for, the, for the children. It's myheart.org and yes. littlehearts.org. Yes, yep. Okay. Then there's babyheart.org, you know. Uh-huh. There's a childrensheartlink.org. All of them, all of the the the, pa- the the pages I have listed on the petition page are are really great CHD okay. pages. Okay, and I'll I'll go ahead and share those on on my blog as well. Just Thank to, you so uh, much, Patty. Share those more, and you know, share what we talked about today. Perfect. And you know, hopefully, you know, between us and everyone else out there, we can help spread the awareness and get the research and the funding to help prevent it and cure right. it. I hope so too, because that that's like that's my blood and hard work right there, you know, and it needs to be successful. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think you will be, and it sounds like you're on on your way for sure. And thank you, have, you Patty. I appreciate you have, that. Have quite a following on on your MySpace page, and <laughs> yeah, it grows. Yeah. It's like daily. It really grows, and and that's yeah. good, you know, because yeah. the more friends on my list, the more awareness we're raising. <laughs> 
Right, which is great, and that's yes. the, that's the whole idea. So, and your page is so cute. I like the Thank little, little graphic. Did you get that custom made, or you just found it and it happened to fit with your Angelina, or you know, that's just like I have a friend of mine, and she created the web page, but like the little banners and everything, like people, friends of mine from the CHD community, they made them, and you know, I, I borrowed them and put them on a page, and. Uh-huh. Is it? Is it? Because myself, me myself, I'm a complete computer idiot. <laughs> no, really. I wouldn't know how to set up a banner or anything. So you know, people help me. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's great. I mean, it's nice that you have all that support. And yeah. Help. Or you know, like my, my friends and the CHD community. They're just they're, they're awesome, awesome people. Uh-huh. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah, I see. There's you know, you have almost every state now. Um, yes. What states are you missing for your um, Angelina's Warrior? There's like a, a lot of uh, like a couple of states. Let me see. If, if you can think of it offhand, or yeah, there's there's Alaska, there's Colorado, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware. I need Hawaii, Idaho, Kansas, Kentucky. I need Maine. Still, uh-huh. I need Minnesota, Montana, New Hampshire. Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico. And then I need Utah, Utah, Vermont, and uh-huh. Wisconsin. And that's it. Oh, great. Every okay. other state is, is taken. Wow. So you're you're doing really well. Yes. So hopefully with this show and you know, future listeners and and uh others will help help out in the cause. I and mean, I've been promoting it, you know, left and right in different places and right. kind of <laughs> Sometimes weekends aren't the best for everybody, but like I said, the show is archived and, and uh, people come back later and listen right. at their mm-hmm. convenience, so that's always a Which nice is a good thing. Part. You know, I like yeah. the archives. Right, that's right. You can always go back and listen and, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to worry about missing it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's a live show. So right. I'm glad you're here, though. I'm glad you're able to speak um, with me live and then... Uh, Thank I you, Patty. think that was all the questions I had for you. Um, if you have any other thoughts on on uh, that you want to share or resources, feel free to do that. Uh, basically, you know, I think uh, I talked about it all. <laughs> okay, yeah, and, and we shared your web page, and I'll I'll uh, have you repeat that again. It was myspace dot com mm-hmm. slash, slash Angelina friends. friends. Okay, that's just one office. word, you know. Right, okay, and then they can find the petition to that there as well as here because I've added it here. Right, yeah. It's a just, great, a great it's banner a, to put up. Exactly, it's the banner with the baby with the with the scar in the middle of his chest. Uh-huh. And you just yeah. click on that and it takes you right to the petition. And we, we, we are going for at least 50,000 signatures by the end of the year. Okay, so by the end of this year, well, I hope you exceed that. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I hope so, too. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, where where will the petition go after you get all the signatures? You know, the petition, they're, they're going to be signed out to every radio station, every uh-huh. every television station, magazines, newspapers, and my state representatives, they're going to help me with this, you know. Uh-huh. But it will be out there in many, many, many different media sources. And, I mean, uh-huh. I figured with those kind of, like with that amount of signatures, Somebody has to listen, you know, and help. Right, right, right. Well, that's, that's so that's why I, I went with fifty thousand. I asked a friend of mine when we started. I said, "Do you think fifty thousand is too much?" And but then I realized if we're not setting a high goal, we're not going to go somewhere with this petition, you know. And I, I believe we can do it. It is yeah. not saving the Polaroid films, but hey. <laughs> right, right. Well, I don't know how that's so important. You know. I'm telling you. About it. <laughs> Especially with digital cameras now, too. Yeah, Uh, I mean, come on. It it must be backed by Polaroid. I don't know. You know, and create such an uproar. In like three weeks, they have, like, I mean, those really desperate people crying, no, no. Come on, give me a break. Mm. (laughs) Is Is that for the instant Polaroid? It just says, it just says save Polaroid films that they, they, they go out of, uh, Making, you know, they, they stop gonna, they're gonna yeah. stop making them. What the? For the instant Polaroid, and I don't know. I mean, with digital camera, I don't yeah. see why you really need that anymore either. And but. it's so much, it's so much more convenient, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a lot easier. Just exactly you know, you upload it, you can print it out. Exactly. No paper, really, if you don't want it. Right. <laughs> You can you can add and you know make yourself real real beautiful. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> With the different well, progress. <laughs> looks like we have a caller out on the line. I'm, oh. I'll go ahead and put them on and see if they have perfect a for you. Thank you. Hello, caller. Hello. 
Hello, thank you for joining us. Your name? Regina. Regina. Hi, Regina. Um, we're speaking with Sandra Kay today about CHD awareness. Did you have any questions for her or comments? Um, no, I just wanted to call because my son Alexander was born with a CHD, and I've been listening to the show. Uh -huh. Hi, Regina. Oh, great. <laughs> Hello. I, I know her. She's one of my state representatives and one of my closest and longest friends on my space. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Well, I'm glad she made it. I thought she was able to make it. Glad yeah, you're here. Kinda ner I was kind of nervous to call in. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Uh, you know, it's just us girls. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, I, I get nervous myself, and I'm I'm the one hosting the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. So. And, and it's so much better when people do call in and, and uh, you know, when we have guest speakers especially because, you know, that's, you know, part of the objective. So I appreciate you calling in. Right. So if you have any questions or anything that you want to share, um, feel free to do that. We have, uh, you know, about 10 minutes remaining here. And uh, I'm going to share some resources, and then we'll kind of sum up. But if you have anything that you want to share with us, feel free to do that. Okay. Um, I'm just hoping to help get this out in the media a uh -huh. lot. Well, just out in the media in general, because you don't ever hear about it here in the United States at all. Right. Yeah, not too much. But, well, one thing uh, that you can, you guys can do for sure is, you know, add this show link and there's a embed that you can put on your uh, if you have a website or you can just add a link to it on your email these right. so people can listen to the show right. you know, at their convenience and like I said it's downloadable. People who have iPods can listen to it, you know, totally at their convenience at a later time. Right. Well Patty, I wanted to ask you about this because um could you send me the link again so I can post it that it goes like directly to the archive to to that show because I didn't know how to figure to, to put it up there. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, since it's, you know, the show's, you know, not in the archives yet, but it mm -hmm. will be after we're done here, mm -hmm. and then I'll send you that, and um, you can even just use even the embed um, image of the uh, of the show itself. Okay. And that will link, you know, to the show, and then people can always click on the Blog Talk Radio logo. Okay, okay. It will take them to, to the page. Perfect. Yeah, I noticed that on the page myself. I was looking at it and the RSS feed. I can use that on Cafe Mom. Yeah, they have the RSS feed. I mean, it's you know, it's got a lot of a lot of ways to get it out there and spread the spread the word. And Perfect. you know, the show the show you know features a lot of different guests, and we have a child abuse advocate coming up, um, and uh, some other great guests. Let me look at my list here. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, while I'm thinking of it, we have a uh, Deb and April, she's also on MySpace with April's Law Against Child Abuse. Yes, Lisa. I know about her. Yeah, so she's going to be uh, speaking on March 23rd, although mm -hmm. I may have to reschedule because I found out, I don't know what I was thinking, that that's Easter, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I might have to reschedule that, but she will be, you know, speaking with me. Um, and then Mimi Jacobs, I don't know if you're familiar with yeah, her. Yeah, she's an author too, right? She's an author too. Mm -hmm. She wrote a children's book on teaching tolerance. My yes. name is not Monkey Girl. Yes, and, perfect. I love her. Yeah, and she just seems really like a really inspirational person too. And I'm hoping right. to get to know her more as well. Perfect. And then uh, Jenny Rich has a, a a new uh, has a new website on how to raise a reader. Um, so okay. I'm looking forward to talking to her. So you know, I'm trying to get people on here that have great information to share and yes. and, a, and good causes and you know it's, it's just you know important to uh, be able to connect with people and get mm -hmm. the awareness out there and exactly you know I, I'm just kind of having fun with it and you know the show is also to support other moms you know to call in about different parenting issues as right. well right so you know I'll be having parent I'll, another parent coach I had a parent coach on in January and we talked about uh, TV time. Okay. Um, reducing your reducing your children's TV time. Mm -hmm. Find that in the archive. So there's, you know, I'm working Perfect. on getting different guests and anybody that you want to recommend, feel free to do so. And you know, mm -hmm. that's good to know that we can also refer. My way. Yes. Yeah. Send them over. <laughs> Perfect. Well, you know, you're doing an awesome job, Patty. Thank you so much yeah, well, from, from all of us. Seriously, because we 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 need angels like you, you know, to step in with us and help us, you know, spread well, the word you. and well, educate. I yeah, well, that's, you know, since I'm not teaching anymore, this is one of my ways to try to educate. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, you know, it, it gives me something else to do besides, you know, 
working on the computer or yes. doing other things and, you know, playing with the kids and yeah. kind of gives some adult conversations. Right. You know, in, in, another, in another form, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, when you're a stay-at-home mom, you don't get out as much as you, you'd like and you don't get the adult conversation as much as you, you yep. probably can. I mean, at least I don't. I don't know. I, get, I, don't I know about that because most of my friends oh, are mommies yeah. and, it's tough for them to get back into adult conversations because, you know, they spend so much time right. with the babies. <laughs> right, right. So I know what you mean. <laughs> so, and, Almost and always how, stuck how, in the house with Alex. Yeah, Regina, right? <laughs> yeah. How old did you say your son is? He's oh, two yeah. and a half. He's two and a half. Oh. The, the, the cutest little one. Yeah, how is he doing? Uh, he's doing really good right now. He goes for an echo and EKG on the 21st, I believe. Uh-huh. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully, he'll continue to do well. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Uh, so, like I said, if you have, you know, either of you know or would like to be or know anybody who would like to be a future guest speaker, you know, just yeah. have them contact me. My email is admin at mamastimeout.com, and they can just put guest speaker in the subject field right. along with their bio and, and a photo is optional and their site contact information or their topic of discussion idea. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'll contact them to confirm a date like we did here. Perfect. And um, I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, talking to other moms and, and uh, experts that, you know, want to share and, uh, right. you know, share their resources and information on a variety of topics that right. you know, parents and mothers will will relate to and find important. So. Definitely. You know, I have I have at least, I think, well, about like five people in mind already, which I'm going to send to you. That's great. Yeah. I appreciate with, it. With different appreciate with different it. topics, you know. Okay. Perfect. And then, you know, anytime you want to come back, Sandra, you're welcome to come back. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. And let us know how, how the campaign is going. You know? Definitely. I mean, we'll stay yeah. in touch by email, you know, and I'll keep you posted. Yeah. But I would love yeah. to, to be back sometime. Yeah, that would be great. I would appreciate it. <laughs> and look forward to it again. Yes, me too. <laughs> Definitely. So I, I want to thank you both for uh, coming on today. Uh, there's just a few minutes left remaining, and um, you know, right. feel free to uh, drop by again anytime and leave comments here. And Definitely, you know, Patty. Listen in on our future shows, and I'm sure you'll get something out of them, and listen to our archive shows. I'm Definitely. Sure something you might enjoy from something else to do because I'm always looking for something on a computer. <laughs> yeah, well, same here. I'm kind of a computer geek, my husband. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I, it was hate winter time. Yeah, yeah. Well, me too, and I'm even in Arizona. But <laughs> here it gets too hot, though, so then you don't want to go outside. So <laughs> you still tend to stay inside, so I don't know. Right. <laughs> But it actually, it, this past couple of weeks, it's almost been perfect here in the 70s and 80s. So oh, good for you. We have the baddest winter storms here. Yeah, you're probably, are you getting Same here. Horrible. Yeah, where, where are you, where are you at? Um, I, sorry, I forgot your name. Rock? Regina. Rock? Regina. 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 I'm in Ohio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the it's cold pretty is constant snowstorms and ice storms. Yeah. Join the club, Regina. It's the same over here. Mm, for me. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an I'm an Arizona desert rat. I'm pretty much used to the well. warmth. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, if I want to see that I go to the mountains, I guess. Definitely, yeah. I you know like you, you can choose. <laughs> Uh, if you ever need a break from it, come to Arizona. Oh yeah, <laughs> I will take up on that do. offer. <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of people do. That's, right. You know, people come here a lot during the winter. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> so you're both welcome to come anytime. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you uh, both calling in and talking with you, Sandra. And I'll look Thank forward you. to you know hearing from you again. And uh, definitely, we'll, you we'll stay in touch, more. Patty. Okay. And, and to uh, future listeners uh, and future, you know, downloaders and whoever, <laughs> uh, we look forward to having you join us. So uh, thank you all, and uh, thank you to um, Sandra for coming and talking to us today. Thank you, Patty. About THD, uh, congenital heart defects. I, I don't, sometimes I've heard it as congenital heart disease and congenital heart defects. So I guess it's they say both, thing. right, Regina? Yes, it's both terms. Um, basically the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So, and I appreciate you coming in and talking to us about that, and hopefully it'll ra- help to ra- raise awareness and 
spread the word so people can sign the petition to get it out in the media more and hopefully right. Oprah and Nancy Grace will pick up on it yeah. and down the line and, <laughs> and uh hopefully we'll see you on one of her shows. One of yeah, and shows. then you will come too. <laughs> uh well we'll see. Well, you know I'll bring all the girls. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know if I'm ready for T V yet. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about it when it happens, all right? I need, I need to go to the spa first. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm coming too. <laughs> So thanks again, and thank you, Patty. Uh, make sure to bookmark us and sign up for the reminders for future shows. Definitely. And, you know, thank uh, you. Thank you truly, Patty. Okay. Thank you both again, Regina and Sandra, for co- joining me today, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you again. Yeah. Same here. Thank you, Patty. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. okay. Goodbye. Have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. So. Uh, Thank you again, everybody, for listening and joining us today. And if you didn't get a chance to call in and join us, make sure you download us on uh, Mama's Time Out here at blogtalkradio.com slash littlebitesnews, um, where you can find the archives to download any of our shows. And again, there's the comment suggestion listener line at 602-457-2761, where you can leave messages or you can leave a message here. Uh, future guest speakers can submit their bio and site contact information and topic discussion idea to admin at mamastimeout.com with guest speaker in the subject field, and I'll contact you with further details. So uh, if you have a guest that you'd like featured, contact me, or if you'd like to be a featured guest, contact me. And uh, I think that's it for today's show. I really appreciate it everybody listening in, and once again, thank you to our special guest, Sandra Kay, for joining us today and talking about CHD awareness. And I will post um, the links again and uh, that we covered on CHD on my blog at littlebitesnews.blogspot.com. And uh, next week we'll be here speaking with Mimi Jacobs, author of My Name is Not Monkey Girl on Teaching Tolerance to Children and adults, probably, I should say. So, again, the call-in number to call us next week is 646-595-4516. Look forward to seeing you here and hearing from you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.